Hello and welcome to the Crab Papa Show. Today's episode we're going to be doing Lando Malari, Mr. Garibaldi. Anyways, I picked this up on uh, eBay for uh, uh, about 12 bucks. It's a good deal. Babylon 5 figures didn't really hold their value too well. Uh, Londo's got three points of articulation. One, two, and three. The legs don't move at all, which means it'll be easy to cast. And... Here we go. So here we're getting the hot glue down. Getting him right in the center. I let that cool just a little bit before I start putting in the composite mold. Uh, as you know from uh, previous videos, uh, a lot of times I have the figure, the hot glue, dismount from the feet and the figure falls over. See, he's kind of doing it right there. But I think it was all right. I might have poured half of it and let it cool down and then poured the other half, but I don't remember. And we're just finishing up the mold. All right, finish up the mold now. There we go. And here's the next day. Taking off the can. Always be careful with the cans. Hey, uh, they'll catch you. I think I just cut right there. <laughs> yeah, and the bottoms are always the most dangerous. Just be careful. There we go. Cans all off. There's the hot glue. I like to start on uh, one leg till I get to about the waist, then do the other leg, and then go between the legs. That gives you something to kind of pull against. It, uh, it cuts way better when you're flexing it. And then you just go down one side and then the other. And I try to leave the top attached so it'll fit together. Uh, better. Also, uh, it can't leak out through the top if you don't cut it. You just spend a little bit of time just kind of working that mold um, so all the little cuts line up. And there, we're putting the tape on. This helps with uh, resin linkage. Here's the resin. Using down to the last drop on that one. We didn't have any in that one. <laughs> or a little bit. I think it was cold, so the resin's a little sluggish. There we got a little bit. And then I added some more from uh, new bottles. Resin seems to work pretty good with different brands, I've found. But uh, I don't, I don't uh, mix different kinds of resin together if I don't have to. Uh, some reason I thought I had enough to do this project with what I had left. I, I run it down till I got just a little bit left in each bottle, and then um, save it. Anyways, there was that black dye that's made by Composi Mold. 
It is fantastic. It also um, makes the resin a little more viscous or liquidy or something. And uh, it'll get in all the nooks and crannies a little better. <clears throat> and here we're demolding. And if you want to reuse the mold, uh, take it apart really slowly. If it's a one-time use, you can just rip it off. Just be careful of the arms. And the head. I broke a lot of heads. And we're just pulling, pulling. A little bit of extra tape there. And man, this came out just beautiful. I, The plan was to make a duplicate same colors and stuff and I even bought a couple of metallic pins to match all the decoration on his jacket but um, with him standing on that base I mean it just looked like a statue and specifically it looked like a statue that Londo would have made of himself you know <laughs> if you know Londo So I ended up uh, changing plans midstream here and going with the, uh, let's make it look like a statue. So this is a copper metallic spray paint. It's by uh, Rust-Oleum, a metallic finish, I think. I don't know why I didn't show the can, but uh, just, it is a beautiful product. We're just spraying it on there. And then I just let it sit for maybe an hour or so. And then this is about an hour later. And we're using the clear coat times two. This is great stuff too. Give it that real shine. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. But um, it really secures in that paint. All right, and there you have it, the Lando Malari statue he commissioned of himself. I think it turned out pretty good. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. These videos are really fun to make, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming back. We do these on Fridays, usually two a Friday, two... Uh, Usually two videos on Friday. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.